Good morning and welcome to this morning's webinar. I'm so glad you could all join us. Uh, today we have some exciting topics to talk about. Um, we're going to talk about the 2013 Global Foundation Board elections and we're also going to talk about the 2013 WASPI Web Application Security Person of the Year Awards. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, if you have any questions during the webinar, please feel free to type them in the chat, and we will have time for questions at the end of each section. So we're going to first talk about the global elections, and then we're going to talk about the WASP awards. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the timeline. When is this all going to take place? Uh, <clears throat> voting will happen actually in October. So leading up to October, We've already opened up the call for candidates. That was announced in the connector that went out last Tuesday. Um, we're talking about it today. Um, in, August, in August, so let's see, it's May, May, June, July. So there are two and a half months for people to submit their candidacy for the global board elections. Uh, the candidates will be announced in August. And then in, in between August 17th and December 6th, we're going to be recording some interviews. Um, and then uh, the voting will start in October. So in order for us to be able to schedule everybody's voting uh, properly electronically, um, membership has to be finalized by September 30th. And we'll talk a little bit more about the voting process um, in between the two topics. Um, so the voting will open on October 14th. It'll go through October 25th. And then on October 29th, the winners for the global election will be announced. So first, we've already opened up the call for candidates. We announced it in the connector. We're talking about today. We're going to be overloading people with emails. Emails to the leaders list, to the OF all, to the blogs, to the connectors, to the Twitter. Um, you're going to hear about this over and over and over and over again. So again, the call for candidates is open from now until August 16th. So at the end of August, the, the APSEC EU 2013 is in the end of August, right after the call for candidates closes. So the candidates will be formally announced at the APSEC EU 2013 conference. So you don't have to be at the conference because of as with everything else, we're going to overload you with communication. It'll be posted to the wiki. It'll be in the connector. We'll send out multiple emails, Twitter, blog, Facebook. Um, it'll be everywhere. We'll also be posting the uh, candidate interviews that will be completed by September 6th and posted to the election page. Okay, so go ahead and uh, go to the next slide, Kelly. All right, let's talk about the voting process. So the voting process, if you were with us last year during the election process, um, Kelly Santalucia, who's doing the driving today on this webinar, um, did a fabulous job of communicating and organizing and implementing the election process. We work with a partner, uh, Simply Voting, and we give them all of the names and email addresses of all of our members. So. In order to be able to vote, you, of course, need to be a member. There are a couple different types of membership that will qualify you for a vote. Of course, the first one is a paid member. Um, the second one is honorary membership. And we'll talk a little bit about honorary membership in just a second. Um, but the way that the voting happens is we give them the email addresses and names of the folks who are eligible to vote. You'll get a link to vote. You'll be able to submit your vote, and everything is counted and calculated by simply voting. Uh, we, as the organization, don't even know the winners until after the voting closes. So once the winners have been determined, they'll be announced formally in the October 29th connector, and then they'll be formally introduced at APSEC USA 2013 in New York. So Kelly, if you want to go back one slide, let me go back one slide, two slides now. Um, let's talk about membership. Um, in the past, we have had, um, of course, there's paid members. So if you click on the membership link there, 
hopefully that will take you to the membership page which everybody should be hopefully familiar with. Um, this lists out the different membership categories and it specifically indicates which types of members would be eligible to vote during the election. These are of course corporate members. Um, companies get one vote so a representative for an organization um, would be able to vote. Uh, individual members and also academic supporters and these are representatives for universities or colleges. So in addition to paid membership we also have implemented something that we call honorary membership and this is to recognize those folks who have contributed their time and their talent to the organization. Um, of course the fee for membership is only fifty dollars for an annual membership um, but we don't want this to be an undue burden so if somebody would like to participate but doesn't have the means to um, to manage the fifty dollar fee or feels like they have uh, contributed well in excess of the value of a membership we encourage people to self-nominate for an honorary membership. And again the deadline for memberships is September 30th and that's so that we have enough time to log everything into the voting system. So are there any questions about the Global Foundation Board election? All of the dates and the timelines will be posted to the Foundation calendar and again you're going to get so much information over the next several months that I would hope that um, none of this would be mysterious by the time we get to voting and if anybody on this call is interested in submitting their candidacy for the board elections um, there is a election nomination form that again we'll post that to the election page. We'll give just a second to see if there are any questions before we jump right into the WASPI Awards. Alright, so last year um, we started a process called the WASPI Awards and that stands for the Web Application Security Person of the Year. Um, and the reason that we decided to do this. Actually Qualys is a sponsor for this and um, the idea is that there are folks who are heavy contributors to the industry in web application security. Some of them are of course featured in news stories, they're publishers, they're in print, they're keynotes, um, but there are a lot of people who do a lot of hard work um, either for the OWASP Foundation or for the industry and we call them the unsung heroes. And so what we want to do as an organization is to figure out how to recognize these people and who may not be um, noted as, as the keynotes. So looking at last year, um, we didn't, we decided to do this a little bit late in the game. So last year what we did is uh, we had the project leaders and the chapter leaders submit the nominations for one winner. Uh, we only had one category. And the Global Foundation board members were the folks that voted. Um, Helen Gao, who I hope everybody knows from New York, uh, was the winner of the WASPI Award last year and Qualys and Trustway were our sponsors. So Kelly has a link here um, and again this presentation will be posted online as well as the recording of the presentation. So you can go to the link and read all about what we did last year. But looking forward to 2013, um, we decided in, in talking about this amongst ourselves and with other members of the community 
is that there are so many that it's really difficult to pick one. In fact, last year I think we had 10 candidates and it was an eight-way tie um, for first place. So it was very, very, very difficult to just pick one overall winner. So what we did is we decided this year we're going to do it a little bit differently and we um, opened it up a little bit and we had some more categories. We also opened up the nomination process so that anybody whether you're a chapter leader, project leader, chapter member, um, project contributor, or just mailing list lurker, um, you can participate in the nomination process. So the categories that we decided to focus on this year for 2013, uh, we're going to have a category for best chapter leader, best project leader, best community supporter, best mission outreach, and best innovator. Um, so these are five categories, um, kind of like the, uh, the Oscar awards, um, and hopefully we'll be able to really broaden the scope of participation um, for the awards this year. So there are a couple of rules uh, around the WASP awards. First of all, who can win? Um, Anybody can win except board members or paid staff members. Um, in order to vote for the candidates for the WASPI Awards, um, we're going to be running this along with the election. So on your election ballot, you'll have the opportunity to vote for the global board, as well as vote for the candidates and the nominees for these five categories for the WASPI Awards. So just like with the global uh, board member voting process, you'll need to be a paid member in order to cast a vote um, in the WASPI Award. Um, we are going to be accepting nominations from now until August 19th. And we decided to not publicize the nominees until the end of August um, in order to allow people to freely nominate any anybody in the community. <clears throat> so the nomination form is out there. It was in the connector, which was sent out uh, earlier this week. These will be posted all over the website. And again, you're going to be overloaded with communication about this. So this year, anybody can nominate anybody. And anybody can nominate up to five people, one person per category. So again, this is a timeline that we set out, and it, it very closely mirrors the timeline for the global board election because, again, they're going to be on the same ballot. Um, so again, the call for nominees is already open. There's a link there to the form. Uh, in August, the call for nominees will close, and we will announce the nominees. Uh, by the beginning of September, we'll have a bio and a profile picture posted. And again, just like with the global board elections, the deadline will be September 30th to have your membership finalized. Um, the voting timeline is exactly the same. And again, along with the Global Foundation Board, we will announce the winners of the WASPI Awards, and they will be recognized at APSEC USA 2013 in a formal ceremony. So who funds the WASPI Awards and, and why would you want to win? Well, in, in addition to just getting recognition from your peers and being selected as outstanding in any of these categories, um, last year we were fortunate to have sponsors um, who contributed financial support for this. So we were able to give prizes. I think there was a, we were able to give everybody an iPad. Uh, there were some Amazon gift card prizes. So there's some tangible benefits to being considered for one of these, to be to being considered one of these winners. Um, so if you or your company, or if you know of a company that would like to recognize or contribute to the recognition of any of these individuals, um, there are sponsorship opportunities. And just I'd like to clarify, being a sponsor 
of the WASP awards does not give any particular organization um, leverage to electing a candidate. Again, the, the candidates will be selected by the community, so they're nominated by the community and selected by the community. So these are, these are your, uh, your winners. Any questions on the WASP awards? Any questions on the election? Kelly, did you have anything that you wanted to add to either the global election or the WASPI award uh, conversations? Um, thanks, Kate. No, I, I, you know, you covered it very well. Um, I definitely want to make sure that we've got a lot of communication going out to the community over the next couple of months leading up to um, both of these, um, the WASPI and the board elections. So that way everyone knows. Um, that they're happening and where they have to go to nominate or to find information regarding, you know, any two, any of these two um, awards. Um, I wish that some of the people on the call would have some questions. That way, it would help me understand where I need to better, you know, communicate to the community. The but, the, <laughs> the only uh, the only comment in the uh, chat is great job. Woo! So well, thanks. <laughs> that's, um, that's an indication that we've covered all the bases. Is, um, I know from a staff perspective, we are so excited about these two events. Um, every year, um, well, I guess it's just been two years now we've done the global elections, and this is mm -hmm. three years for the global elections, and this is our second year for the WASP Awards. And it's just such an exciting opportunity for um, all of the contributors to OWASP foundation and the mission um, to give back and recognize their peers. So this is something that um, we try to set the platform for everybody to uh, continue to recognize uh, others in the community and to call out some of the, the great folks who may not uh, step up themselves to be uh, considered the greats. Right. So. And um, also the, the time, I mean, we've got the timeline, and it'll be listed on the wiki um, when to vote, but you'll also, um, registered voters will also be receiving an um, email with their um, own personal link to log in to cast their votes for the election and the WASPI awards. That was one of the questions here. Yes, believe me, if... Uh we had somebody last year who indicated, well, I didn't know I was, I was supposed to vote. And um, I kind of laughed because if you look at, the, at what Kelly did for 2012, I think there were, what, about 10 different links to the voting yeah. sent out over a two-week period. So um, it's, yep. uh, it's hard not to know that you're supposed to vote. So uh, we will definitely be keeping everybody informed and up to date. This is just the launch and the kickoff. So again, it, we're really excited about this, and uh, I hope that you can get excited about it too. And if there are no further questions, and there doesn't appear to be, which means we did a great job explaining it, um, then that would be the end. And this is a particularly short webinar. All right, thanks. Talk to you all in uh, two weeks. Thank you.